Good morning. Today we're going to talk about heat stress and what it looks like. Let's go up and take a look at my corn. Yesterday we had a heat index of 105 and it's been like that for a while. But you can see the brown in there. I've See those ears of corn are looking pretty good. I mean as far as the silk, we could check those and see if they're ready. We got one here I've already opened. It's looking good. When I checked it, I pierced it with my fingernail and it came out clear. And what you're looking for is a milky substance. That way you know your corn is perfectly ready. Looks like we might have some animal breaching my deer fence. It might be a deer. I do got this up kind of high. I figured those white markings would scare them away. What I'm talking about is my deer fence that I have up. It's 30 pound test fishing line with white marking tape. So let's go in. We could see something pulled down a piece of corn right here. Why do I have this big metal roofing in here? Well, I didn't have any other place to put it and I thought, well, let's just throw it down there. It will uh, conserve water. Because the water will go under there and it won't evaporate as quick. And the corn has big roots, so it'll take, you know, it'll suck it right underneath there. So we came in here and we have this one piece of corn laying on the ground. And these two kind of bent over. That tells me something tried to climb the corn. Or a deer came in here and tried to pull the corn down and then got scared and ran away. See, I have these plumbing uh, pipes. It's PVC. It was just laying around extra stuff that I had, so I thought I would put it on top of the fence. That way the deer would see it and know not to try to jump over and jump right into it and get tangled. So it looks like we have a lot of pickable corn today. I'm going to get right on that before the sun hits them. See, that's a really nice one right there. Golden Bantam. It's an heirloom corn. Very tasty. I don't even put butter or salt or anything on it anymore. I just steam it for 10 minutes and just eat it. It's so sweet. 